Today's topic is going to be about the fibroblast cell. The fibroblast cell is the most common cell found in the connective tissue in most animals. Its main function is to synthesize the extracellular matrix and collagen. They, these two are key components in the structural framework for most animal tissues. Well, now what do they look like? Well, they have a branched cytoplasm surrounding an elliptical speckled nucleus having two or more nucleoli. The active form of fibroblasts can be recognized by their thousands of endoplasmic reticulum. The inactive fibrocytes have a very small amount in comparison. Now, as I hinted to, these fibroblast cells have two states, the active and inactive. Both have different names, however, sometimes they're all just called fibroblasts, so there seems to be a trend towards generalization of that term. Now, fibroblasts and fibrocytes are two states of the same cells, and the former being the activated state, and the latter the less active state concerned with maintenance and tissue metabolism. Currently, there is a tendency, as I said, to call both forms fibroblasts. Now what's rather peculiar or interesting about fibroblasts is that they're very heterogeneous in their morphology. They have very diverse appearances depending on their location and activity. Now let's dive a bit further into their products. What do they do? Well, as I mentioned, they make a variety of certain compounds, extracellular matrix. Now, specifically the collagens. Now, what is collagen generally? Well, something of note is that it's the most abundant protein found in mammals. And generally, as you can imagine, it's, it's just a structural protein uh, inside various connective tissues. But among the products, there are also glycoaminoglycans. These are just compounds that contain protein and amino acids, essentially. Fibroblasts are also known to make reticular fiber. It's composed of type 3 collagen secreted by the reticular cells. The reticular cells, of course, are a type of fibroblast. Reticular fiber acts as a network of supporting mesh and soft tissues such as the liver, bone marrow, and the tissues and organs of the lymphatic system. Now, another interesting product is the elastic fiber that fibroblasts also make. These are considered bundles of protein called elastin that's found inside the extracellular matrix of connective tissue, most commonly in the smooth muscle and in arteries. Glycoproteins is another creation of fibroblast cells. These are essentially just gener generally a protein combined or fused with sugar. These glycoproteins are usually very important in the integral membrane proteins of cells. So they, you would commonly find the glycoproteins acting as receptors of some kind inside cell membranes. And that's all of the information we're going to be covering today. Stick around for part two, however. We're going to be going to some research about the function of fibroblast cells and some other interesting things, like their role in, for instance, uh, stretch marks in humans. When the tissue beneath get tears because of some strange fibroblast cell inhibition. And of course, as always, I do hope you're having a fantastic day.